out here at the almond farm. Don't know what we'll get out of this. Hard to say. No longer allowed in the shed. Oh, there's a can there. Another one down there. Might get a little bit. Not much. Hmm. We'll jump in for the cans. Open sesame. Oh, okay, get right. That, that, that. Oh dear. One down there. A couple there. nuts or something in it, that one. Oh, I was right. Nuts. A couple of bottles, huh? Okay, in there. Been very lucky here because we've been permitted to come here. There we go. Just got to obey by what they say to do, not much else we can do. I've actually, uh, don't go down my boot. I actually took my bin away from here because, yeah, they were putting it in the shed. And I said, well, how the hell am I supposed to get the, the recyclables? Oh, you're not. And that's what I was told. So I thought, okay. I just said to him, well, well, if I, if I'm not allowed to get my, my recyclables out of here. I'll take my bin home. I said, fine. So that's what we done. Took our bin home last, last time I was here. Didn't come back here last week. So we let them settle down. I just know I'm permitted to come here. And from the owner. So, yeah. Can there. So I'll just stick to coming into here. I don't mind one bit. Still get a fair bit of good stuff out of here anyway. It's all got to come out of the shed out to here, out to here anyway. That looks like electrics. I'll have to go and check the other, other one out. And the dumpster. See what it's like. Now, 
alfoil. Got another bit of alfoil on the boot court. <laughs> oh dear. on that one, a bit more alfoil, a bit of can there, a bit of wire there, I think they're brass. What have we got here? They might be alloy, those. That's got that aluminium look in wiring, too. It is. We might strike lucky and get some wire. Grab that. Yeah, they're doing more electrics. It's amazing what you find. There we go. There's one piece. Dig slow and steady. That's just a bit of hose. Oh yeah. Get off. They might be just metal, I don't know. Nice, a bit of that stuff. And there's a bit of copper. That's good strippable copper, that one. There's another bit of copper. Way down yonder, look at that. Definitely got to go check the other bin out. Another dumpster. Might be all in that. There's a shifter there. Look at that. Shifter spanner. Hmm. Very interesting. Bottle there. They've certainly been doing something electrical. Right, I think we're going to have a look at the other one. I 
reckon. Yeah. This one off. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, that's that cup. There was a cup in the box. Okay, shift that out of the boat. Back to there. We'll go and have a look at the other dumpster. That wire's just got me intrigued. Mm-hmm. Bo peep my head in here. No change. Well, maybe a bit of a change. There's a bottle there. Can over the back, can over there. Hmm. Don't know what that is. I think that's a stainless steel flask. So we'll get in and get that stuff, I suppose. Open this one up. little what we have oh. no that don't look like a stainless steel flask maybe it is inside here yeah, we'll grab that part the rest of it's no good there. what's there Nothing in that. Can there, can there. What have we got here? Don't know. It feels sloshy. Feels very sloshy. I can't get it open. You yuck. You yuck. <laughs> right, that one there, that one there. I don't like to know where they've done their electrics. I oh, should have come here last week. I must have missed out. Probably missed out on a whole heap of wire. Aluminium wire. Mmm. Well, that's all we're going to get out of here jump on out of here use that as a step well looks like the winds made a mess of this one hmm made a real mess we'll clean it up definitely not birds out of this definitely not the birds put that on the ground Might not be much here. Might not be much at all. Double bag. Usually when they're double bag, there's nothing in it. It's a food scraps. Oh, there's a couple down the side there. Got those couple. I hope a truck doesn't go flying past and woofo! <laughs> Here we go! Oh, he's doing all right. Wind's blowing that way anyway. Get that bag out of there. That feels like a bottle. No, it's a glass jar. They just throw it away in the clothes bar. Well, I can't see nothing else down there. That one down there. A pair of reading glasses. 
when I'm going. Well, I'm little, we'll grab that. We'll grab the top of it anyway. Oh, buffing this. Got oh, heaps of those. Heaps of those buffing this. Fortunately, they never wear out. You can repurpose them. What, how do you repurpose them on the outside if you've got a grinding wheel? You put it against it. Against the grinding wheel. Stuff that into there. We know there's nothing in here. In this bag. It's only food waste. So we're just going to try and put it back in. Yeah, that's it. Just a glass jar. Okay. We've had a squizzy. That one may be able to go. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Open the bummer butt up. Found a loophole. There's always a loophole in the system. Make more room, didn't I? Don't know whether I did or not. Can't remember. Having that memory lapse. Jeez, it's shocking. There's another bottle there. There and there. Sweet ass. That looks like it. Pick up the cardboard up all this mess on the ground at least the water holes dry it all up now we can walk down here there's a broken one that one's not a broken one What have we got? We'll have a look. Oh, shoot. We will have a look. See what we're going to get. One there. No label. that alone. Ooh, stinky. I think I can. There's a bottle too. Cook bottle. Same plastic yellow bag all the time in there. nothing in that okay is that an aluminium lid I think it would be 
yes, I think it is. Oh, I didn't do that one, though. Oh, well, we'll hang on to it. We go any further. What's going out to the army hole? Ooh, something biting me. <laughs> Probably a big bully ant. Midi ant. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll grab those. We'll certainly grab those. We'll put a wind block up. So the wind it blocks the wind. Jump in there and grab those. We'll only go to there on that. And a quick stop over. Got the tote out of there, um, the shears, whatever they were. Put it all in the front. Had to make room. I just haven't got the extruded alloy out of there yet. Uh, just got nowhere else to put it. I don't think building walls and then putting this thing on top would do any benefit for the way I do stuff. do appreciate all those comments that do say build wooden walls and blah 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 but um, the way I do it I find it so much easier so much easier it's not if I'm collecting a lot of scrap steel or anything like that I don't get much of it not with a little one I cart it all with a big one in IBC pots to the honey hole and have a look. Have a bow peep in yeah, our honey hole. That's everywhere I go is my honey hole. So I'm the only one that goes there. <laughs> Which is good. I'll have a look in that in a minute. Get these birds. Right. Have a look in black bag. Oh, have a look in black bag. That feels good. Look at that. One black bag. What's number two black bag gonna give us? Hopefully much the same stuff. Pops open, bottle in. No. Sit that top there. There you go down there. Oh come on, how'd you come? not open. Uh, one can. That's empty. That's it. Alright. Oh, no. What have we got there? Glass bottle in a bag. We'll take the beer bottle. Right. Head out to the honey hole. Can on the ground already. Had to cover it all over. I started to lose it. I lost it many years ago, but I was losing the load. So we're just going to put that like that. One can there. Holy dooly. 
and nothing. Oh dear. Well, we got the holy dooly here, so let's holy dooly it into our vehicle, eh? Sounds like a plan. Then we'll go around to the um, dumpster around the corner here. Try and fit it in here. I reckon we'll fit it. If there's any there, if we can't fit it, we got plenty of space. Plenty of space, there's always other avenues. You can always get out a pack, put it in a pack. Hands there by the looks of it. We know there's nothing on the bottom of that. There. Move into there. No matter how many times I put this back, always seems to end up in here. Definitely it. This one there. Yep. Okay. Have a second look at this. Definitely nothing up there. Definitely nothing. Okay. We'll go around the other side. Did they empty it like I said? No, they didn't. I told them to empty it. And they didn't empty it. Well. We've got a few bags here we can go through. So. Nothing. Oh, there's one there. Alright, one there. Might be best to back up to this one. What have they got in this one? Do the same as what we've done last time. I reckon that's a good choice. Fill that one completely. Mmm. Get those four bags out of there. And we'll back up to this one. Seem there's a couple there already and we'll chuck them in there that might be a return not sure anyway we'll back up here and find out so what we'll do take this off put it back on this is just a cover sheet just an ordinary bed sheet that I use as a tarp so I don't lose any of it come down a dusty road too so let's get up here There's a few in this bag Ooh, better put that up a bit higher another notch higher be hitting my head otherwise pity it hasn't got a notch in between come on there we go Okay, that one there. And we'll check, we're gonna check that out, won't we? Don't know. I reckon it would be. A little bit of air out of it. A little bit of air out. Them up there. There's a can. That's a no. Grab these ones first before we get the bags out. to put our foil in well, we'll just have to do something about that won't we might just put it on the ground there seem the vehicle's not going to get moved and then we can put it in the front when we're finished so 
hope it doesn't roll away. That's all. Coffee jar. Right, I think we're done with that lot. Grab these bags out. And throw it all back that way then. Didn't think it'd done that. That's that beer bed from last week. Oh, there's a fair bit in that. Grab that like that. Chuck it over there. Jeez, that's a big, big headlight cover. Hate to be paying for the headlights. Here. Up and over. A couple there. What have we got here? We've got the jug. Not the good old jug. We don't want the jug. Probably don't work. It doesn't sound like it works. Uh, I think it might, the handle may be plastic. It is. All right, this is what we do with the, the cord then. Put our feet between the, on the outer edge and just give it a good old heave ho. And we got the cable. That's over there. Put that over there now. That makes it easy. All right, this one. Put him over there as well. The big bags, I tell you. That one can go straight in the vehicle, he's called Cairns. What's that looking one? On that one. That alfoil. Paper off. That's going way over yonder. How oh, far that went into there? Not a good shot, I tell you. That's that. That's that. Go and do these bags. Scrunch that up. Yeah, it went down there this time. We may um, be best to put it in that box. In the good old styrofoam box. It's there. Stickeroo up the back. Put that in there. Got somewhere to put it now. Sweet. This box here can be done first. Get that bit of wire out, put it up the back, box and go over there. Right here. Let's do this one first. Where do I see that hole? We'll just open him up. Put it all on the back. We won't worry about, yeah, that'll go down there. Won't worry about getting a pack out or anything. You don't know until you get here and how much there may be.
know what it is now. <laughs> Banana boats. Bought. Going everywhere. Bit of jiff. I think the Milo got all hard up. Rock solid. No, you don't. Get back there. doing it later we, we unload it that quick you, you, sometimes you forget to um, take the tops off so if I do it now I don't have to worry about it later right, that's it for that. looking like it no over that way silly already hole there, okay. That's gone rusty. Styrofoam box. Nothing else there that I can see. Ooh. Very careful in it. Never know what I might find. Delmar tea. I don't drink the old Dilmar. Looks a bit wet anyway. It might be a bit shagged. Raggedy shagged. Alright, we don't want the lid off that, but we want the can. Looks like it. No, there's another one. Good sounding one. Got a 
lot of tops. Well, they all get crushed up. Is that a bit of electrical wire? It certainly is. Well, we're not getting it mixed up with that. It can stay there. That little bit. Pick and choose what you take. At least I know I do. This is why I call it the honey hole. Always delivers. Always get something out of it. No matter what it is. Always get in cans, cans, plastic and glass. Sometimes I get some good stuff out of here too. Surprise ya. empty Jeez, we're still dragging it out of here thought I'd be finished with this one <laughs> damn still coming or is it this, there's another one. Another one there. Right. I've got to guarantee that we got it all out of that. It's not as heavy as it used to be. Right, chuck him up the back. Get stuck into this heavy old thing. The last one. That can go down there. Get that out of our face. Too much it's falling off. You can never have too much. Never have too much. More the merrier. Go this way. <laughs> Mightn't fall off. Drag that out. You can just sit there for a bit. Sit there, mate. Another wine bottle. Mm. 
I'm gonna go to Mountain. Mountain of Rechokables. Well, we don't want that plastic butt cups. Only wish I could, could recycle everything. It's not always the way. Another wine bottle. Yeah, blow back this way. Don't go walking anywhere else. Call me crazy, but just the way I am. That one there, that one there. I think we might just about have the whole lot out of here. Out of this one. We just got that white one to go. Oh, it's still going here. Look at this. I thought I was finished. Another bottle. Not can. Right. Got room to tip this out now. Not a bad little bag that. And she's just a bit wet and a bit smelly. and take the next off those as soon as we finished in here clean up our mess outside there's another one or is that plastic that looks like plastic to me no it's alloy it's alloy another one there Come off. Right, well, I think that's it today. It is. Right, we'll grab a knife and we'll get to and do these wine bottles and we'll clean up around here. I lost a few bottles and cans down the side. Tell you what, that's certainly a mountain. That's a mountain, all right. Anyway, let's get in and do these wine bottles. There is another way if you cannot undo the top. If you've got a knife, a pocket knife, just stab it and twist it. Then you can whiz it off. Makes it easy because it builds up in gas. That goes that way. Especially if your hands are slippery. Or your gloves are slippery. Sometimes I have a bit of problem myself, so just something I'd let you know about. That one was tight. If you got the knife in your hand, you might as well do it. Give it a go. Last one. Right. Close our lid. Get off. Close that lid. Close the other lid. 
Might as well be later. Got a whole heap of valve foil down here. Well, that can be, shouldn't be in there. It should be up there. Um, got a couple of butane cans in there. We've got the pass from the wash machine. Now, I did test these. Now, I think they're copper. They don't stick, and they, I reckon they're copper. But anyway, uh, a bit of stainless. Aerosol cans, I've already got holes in them, so they're easy to be cut. Uh, a bit of wire in there. Now, up the front here, we have good old bananas in pyjamas. Don't mind that. We'll chuck that in the wash. A uh, bag of potatoes. What we get? Well, I've already had one packet of chips out of there, as well as an, there's an onion there. I didn't eat that yet. But there's another packet of chips there. Um, got a good bit of copper wire. Look at the thickness of that. That's about oh, 10 mil thick. 10 mil. Uh, that's the part of the wash machine. I've done a bit of a pickup on the way like I usually do and I just chuck them in the front so we've got some more bottles and cans in the front um, got a ghost candle what else have we got chuck the knife over on the seat oh yeah the phone holder here and it does work like I put my phone on here it's not going to work for me now because the battery's flat in that um, and these when, when I plug it in these arms and I press the side here they automatically retract out. You put the phone on and it retracts in, so that's handy. The only thing wrong with it is this mount down here is a bit shot, but I thought, well, if I replace the nut there, that should be okay. Uh, what else we got? We got some, we got some bars here, chewy choc chip muesli bars. There's only about two left, I think. But anyway, that's better than none. Uh, set of secateurs, hedge trimmers, whatever you like to call them. Yeah, but anyway, um, I'm going to end it off there, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed tagging along with me. So if you've come this far with this video, everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I'm going to definitely see you in the next one. So happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping, and cheerio.